There are many reasons dental professionals recommend oral rinses to patients to help control bad breath or halitosis, to neutralize the oral pH, to manage gingivitis, or simply for additional fluoride. One rinse that has been the gold standard for treating gingivitis by reducing tissue inflammation and bleeding is chlorhexidine gluconate 0.12%. Some instances where a mouth rinse like chlorhexidine gluconate could be suggested is when someone has an acute case of gingivitis or just had trauma and is just unable to brush and manage the biofilm between their teeth. I have even used this mouth rinse after my orthodontic surgery when I couldn't open my mouth, but I still needed to manage my oral health. Chlorhexidine is different in that it's typically used for the short term and is a prescription versus over-the-counter product. When I recommend a product like chlorhexidine gluconate, I ensure my patients know they should not rinse, drink, or eat for about 30 minutes after using the product. But since this is, has like a minty, fresh taste, they often don't want to disturb that clean feeling anyway. I also like to strongly encourage them to perform adequate mechanical disruption like brushing and cleaning between their teeth if they can to prevent heavy calculus buildup that is possible after using chlorhexidine. I prepare myself for more calculus formation on their teeth after use, and I like to bring the patient back into the dental practice once they have completed the regimen of chlorhexidine gluconate, just so I can see if their gingivitis has reversed and if they are now in a state of health. I usually perform a gentle biofilm removal and remove any staining or immature calculus formation. When a patient is struggling with managing their oral health or unable to thoroughly mechanically remove the biofilm that we know needs to be managed, we have options like a clean chlorhexidine gluconate 0.12% to help patients live their best lives. To learn more about prevention solutions, visit henryshine.com.